culture is always frowned upon as being taboo and you know yeah. so every I, little I helps to, kind of yeah, thing. I, yeah i always try to communicate that with people especially people that they're not involved with the culture that are outside looking in you know and um it's a stigma that that is still uh to this day you know stands out it's strange isn't it that people still have that after 40 yeah. 50 years of non-stop <laughs> impact well, believe, <laughs> but believe it or not there are people that do admire and, and are really um intrigued by the culture mm. So that that kind of like helps weigh, you know, the odds and make it a little more bearable. Yeah, and I wonder, I wonder where that intrigue lies because it, it's graffiti as a as a culture isn't the it's very closed doors. It's not. It, it's it's like a matrix to to those that live it and breathe it. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. Well, I mean, you know, it, it's. It's perceived only because of what's been told through the media and what have you. You know, when someone approaches a, a individual, a writer or whatever, and they strike up a conversation and then they realize, wow, you know, I've always pictured it to be this way and or that way. And, you know, you, you, you just shattered a whole different you know light towards the situation and i've gotten that you know through a lot of people you know and i've, I've like i said i've been doing public speaking and all of that since um 1997 wow whoa. and you know wow. it doesn't it doesn't change you know you're always going to come across people that they if they don't know what's going on they're going to treat it as a negative issue. Really? But, to that degree? Yeah. yeah, yeah. But if you communicate with them and you show them, you know, what's really going on with it, they shed a different light on it. You know what I mean? Maybe um, maybe you might help answer perhaps what um, the, one of those stigmas might be because um, obviously I, I do not share this view whatsoever. <laughs> but, um, uh, but to the to the um to the mops the members of public um yeah. their, their their interpretation of it is the the pieces are beautiful but the tagging's damage quote unquote damage and i it and and in their mind i guess it doesn't matter whether it's good or bad the fact that it comes into their world without permission i think right, that right. i think that troubles the commercial crowd well, and, I, I, and i don't get it well, what happens with that is okay. You got to remember when when this thing first de derived itself from, it was at, on a public uh, surface, mm. which was um, which happens to be the train. Mm. You know what I mean. So during the course of time, once the train got taken away, then you know. Where were you going to channel that um, all that energy, mm. all that uh, vibe? What's the last train that was out of service? Was it the early nineties? Wasn't it? That was the one of the last. I I, I, I offhand I don't remember because um I done my last one in nineteen eighty seven, believe it or not. Eighty seven. So, eighty seven. Eighty seven. And I get it because that's the old medium which you'd work to. How impactful that would be on society is, you know between one to ten is probably like a three <laughs> but as soon no. as the, as soon as the authorities or the people managing the trains wanted that removed that's where the are you saying yeah. that's where the real problem started like uh, coming to play i mean look it, it's like anything else if um if you had say you had a location where you had um a lot of activity going on mm. if you take that location away what's going to happen it's gonna go elsewhere, ain't it? They're going to they're going to look for another uh, avenue, another location to mm -hmm. continue doing what's what they're doing. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? In this case, when the trains got taken away, <laughs> there was nothing else to do 
but to go to the street. Mm. You know, and um, I, for one, I wasn't going to, you know, that that wasn't going to happen with me. I'm sorry. I, mm. I just, you know, I said, okay, fine, whatever. The trains are gone. I'm just going to move on and, uh, you know. But, you know, other people have different uh, itineraries. So, mm. you know, what, what are you going to do? Well, that's a, it's kind of a, a warning from history there, you know, because with gentrification going across all these cities yeah. across the world, they're taking away Hall of Fames as well. Yeah, yeah, I know. I mean, you want to have uh, beautiful buildings and all of that and um, communities, but then you're going to take that away from everybody as well. You're not going to give them the uh, a little option or whatever. You know, that in a way, that's not cool. No. Not. You got to have somewhere where they, they can at least vent, create, whatever, yeah. you know? 